Some downtown Troy businesses still very much in the midst of repairs after last month's tornado there. One of those damaged buildings is owned by the Family Abuse Shelter of Miami County, and people living there have been displaced by the damage. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart has the update on their tornado recovery. No cost estimate yet, but repairs are underway at 121 Northeast Public Square in Troy. The executive director of the Family Abuse Shelter of Miami County expects it will still be six to nine months before it is habitable again. We are actually working with um, a contractor and an adjuster right now, and our hopes are that we are going to get the building restored to its full use like we had it before. The seven people living there displaced as the roof was completely removed. They were in the shelter's permanent supportive housing, which Barbara Holman says helps those who have the hardest time breaking out of homelessness. We have relocated. Some of them came back to the shelter. Some of them stayed with family and friends um, short term, but all of them are being offered case management services to help them get into a new place that they can afford. After the tornado in January, the shelter initially needed men's clothing, but they say the community has been so generous. Now asking for items that are in ongoing need and will help those displaced. The things that we are looking for and needing are personal hygiene items, um, toiletries, small household appliances, cleaning supplies, things of that nature. Anything that they have as far as like kitchen appliances, um, mm. plates, um, silverware, anything like that, we're starting from scratch for those individuals. Mm -hmm. One last request is they ask that people don't park in the northeast quadrant of the roundabout on weekdays so their construction vehicles can use that to maneuver. Reporting in Troy, Devereaux Bogart, 5 on 2.